You know, our next guest from American Beauty, American Horror Story, Hunger Games, but they all pale by comparison to his wildly popular show, Yellowstone. You can see it Sunday nights on Paramount Network. Please welcome Wes Bentley. <laughs> I mean, you seem nice, but you're not a good guy. You're a bad guy. You're a bad guy on the show. I am a bad guy, yeah, First yeah. First of all, the show, I mean, congratulations. This is, the show is the most watched, tele outside of football, <laughs> the most watched television show in the United States. Uh, in this year, in the year 2022, that's incredible. It's amazing. It's quite a trip because, you know, usually I, any hits I've had before were really films, and so it's, that's a different experience. That's right. one moment, you know, and like on a show like this, it's year after year, and it's been building in such an interesting way. Like the first season where I'd fly around, you know, ranchers and farmers were sort of like, hey, I know that guy. Hey, I know, I know who you are. Yeah. Second season was like a few more people, younger people maybe, people from that didn't ranch and farm, but they're from the West. And it was like cities, and like it's just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger, and and now it seems like everybody... Do any away. of these people confuse you for your character? <laughs> yeah, they try to give me therapy, is what yeah, they right, do. Yeah. Or, or, you know, I'm, in Montana, I'll go shopping at the grocery store, and then from across the store, some man will yell out, Hey, Jamie Dutton, I hate you! <laughs> as long like, as you get the smile yeah, and the wave the at the wave. end, you're okay with that. I know I'm that. safe when I walk to the parking lot, yeah. For those who don't watch the show, your character um, uh, had his sister sterilized when she was 14 years old, uh, murdered a journalist uh, you worried was going to leak some stuff, um, you shot your biological father to death, <laughs> I think you opened a bait and tackle shop with Kanye West. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's next. Next, yes. run, no, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> so very bad things. Is it, it's, I would imagine it's more fun to play a, a guy like that. It's actually, you know, it can be fun, but it also it can be very draining and tiring because it's a lot of dark stuff, you know. And oh, and it's tricky because you try to play him like he's not seeing himself that way. So it can be. Uh, right. But at the same time, yes, it's a it's more of a blast when I talk to fans who want to give me therapy and like. We're really worried about Jamie. Like, they're really worried about me. You know? And your parents are Methodist ministers, right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. And so do they, um, they approve of this? Are they into it? Do they watch the show? My parents love the show, my family, extended oh, family. But, but there's one person in my family who is, uh, is not feeling it, only because he is a retired evangelical minister, my grandfather. And I forgot to tell him there was nudity in the first episode. Oh. <laughs> So he doesn't want to have anything more to do with it. He's not oh. watching it. Yeah. So, oh, so he hadn't seen nudity in a while I when this so, popped yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's kind of weird, isn't it, huh? I guess so. Yeah, I probably should have let him know. Yeah, yeah, you should have <laughs> let him know. You should have been naked when you let him know. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. I tend to be, you know. <laughs> All our interactions tend to be. Yeah, uh, I mentioned American Beauty. The movie won, won Best Picture at the Oscars. It's a movie that you were... A very young, how old were you when you were in that movie? I was 20 when we shot it, and 20. I turned 21 like the day before it came out. How did it happen that you got into that film? So it's, it's just interesting because I, I was, uh, I had done other films, but nothing had come out. And um, I, I was with a new agency and with a new manager, Lee Daniels, who's actually a, a well-known producer and director now. Lee Daniels Lee, was your manager. Lee Daniels was my first manager, yeah. Wow. Well, one of my first managers, yeah. Wow. And so he told me that there's this great script, American Beauty, and you should go to L.A. and uh, with your buddies, hang out with them, and maybe you should go and read for that, because it's great. And I read it. I thought it was amazing. I couldn't believe I was going to get to go read. And I went to Deb Zane's office, who was the casting director, and I walked in, and they clearly were not expecting me. <laughs> I wasn't on the schedule. They didn't know who I was. Lee didn't set it up? I don't know. I don't know what happened, but they certainly, I, it was awkward. Is that why Lee uh, had to get into producing and directing instead just to of- get me the job? Instead yeah. of managing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to work it out. Wow, so you showed up unannounced and got the job? I guess so, yeah, I, I showed up unannounced, but I, you know, I, I, she let me read. They were nice about it, and I, and I got the job. A few That's a, probably a good lesson for for people, you know, young actors. Is like you don't need to have an audition scheduled; just walk in. I don't know about that. I don't know if it goes well every time. <laughs> maybe you need a Lee Daniels with you. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. This is a, the moment that I think most people probably 
remember from this movie, other than like the flowers, is the, the plastic bag, your character, you'd videotape and then it would just kind of spin around there in the wind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I actually have a funny story. Do you story. keep in touch with the bag? Yeah, yeah, my buddy, the bag, <laughs> my old friend. That bag, that bag is interesting because I actually have a funny story about this. Um, I was in Australia at a friend's party, downtown Australia in Melbourne and hanging out with these ki these girls and people. And I thought this one girl was cute. I was like, hey, you want to go downstairs? And we'll chat downstairs where it's quieter on the street. It's kind of a windy night and we were talking and I was really feeling myself. I thought I was impressing her. She was looking at me and it felt right. And then she started to look behind me a little bit. And then she looked at me and she looked like she was stifling a laugh a little bit, but I was so into what I was saying. I thought this was like, maybe she's just feeling me or something. And then I keep chatting her up and she keeps looking behind me and she's getting a little more concerned. Until finally, smack, a plastic bag hits me right in the side of the face and like wraps around my face until I can't talk anymore. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. And did it work out between you? No, that was it. It didn't, oh. Wow, oh, the, bag, the bag's not a good wingman is what no, you're saying. No, that didn't work out. Is it true that you at one time turned down the role of Spider-Man? From what I understand, I mean, sometimes, uh, you know, people, well, I understood I had the offer, one of the offers, our first offer, and you I- You did. I, I, whether I did or not, I wasn't gonna do it. What? <laughs> Lee Daniels was a terrible manager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he was begging me, but- Oh, okay. You no, know, it was like, it, that, at that time, we had come off the Batman disaster, you know, the last few Batman films were not great. Okay. Comic movies were not looking good. It was nervous. Is this when Tobey Maguire played Spider-Man? Yeah, that's when Toby, Toby took the role, yeah. Wow. And yeah. You didn't want to play Spider-Man. I didn't, and I love comic book movies. But uh -huh. at the time, I was looking for like, you know, I really wanted to do stuff that wasn't comic book movies, I guess. like more. This is like why that drama. bag hit you in the head. That That's ridiculous. Right. Yeah, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you're such an idiot. I think well, he's been telling me that from the beginning. <laughs> it's great to have you here, even though you aren't Spider-Man. And uh, congratulations <laughs> on, on the show. It's Yellowstone. You. you can watch it Sunday nights, 8 o'clock on Paramount Network. Wes Bentley, everybody. Thank you, Wes. We'll be back with Charlie Crockett. Stick around. Put on